Hello and welcome to Testing Shastra. In this video, we are going to talk about at the rate Cassie lookup annotation of Selenium. So when we write down the typical page object model framework, at that time, we usually write down the web elements using at the rate find by annotation. So what is the advantage of using at the rate find by annotation? So at the rate find by annotation run initializes this home variable or whatever web element we have at the runtime with this locator strategy, whatever specified here. Okay. And the disadvantage of having at the rate find by is it every times goes to the DOM and searches for this particular web element using this locator strategy. So let's say I'm invoking some operation on home web element. Okay, let's say click operation. So it will go onto the DOM. It will search the element. It will initialize and then it will invoke the click method. Let's say you know, on the next line, very next line, I'm invoking send keys method on this home. So in that case, again, at the rate find by will go to the DOM, search for the element and then initialize it with this locator and then it will perform the send keys. Let's say on the very next line, I'm going to perform a clear method on this home variable. Again, it will go on to the DOM. It will search for the element, initialize it with this particular web element, and then it will perform the clear operation. So what is happening? So each and every time at the rate find by is going to the DOM to search this particular element. And once it finds, obviously it, it will initialize your element over here. Uh, by using driver dot find element by dot some locator strategy that we have provided over here. So um, each and every time it is it is searching for the DOM for that particular web element that is really time consuming. So to avoid this situation, to avoid this situation or this blocker, Selenium have provided one annotation called as at the rate cache lookup. And if I mark this annotation on the head of that particular element. Okay. Now this will element will not be searched each and every time the operation is performed. Okay. So it will be searched for only once that is at the very first time. Okay. And for the next subsequent operations, it will not be searched in the DOM, but it will be automatically uh, taken from this home variable. So let us try to understand how this phenomena actually works. So consider that I have two different elements, let's say private web element, web element, element one, for example, and I have at the rate find by annotation to it. And let's say there is ID is equals to one to three, something. And then second web element I have is private web element. Let's say, let's simplify the names of them. Okay. So I'm renaming this to X. Okay. Let's rename this to X and this one is Y for example. Okay. And I'm writing down at the rate find by. Okay. And some ID is equals to seven, six, eight, something. And I am writing down at the rate cache lookup also. So what cache lookup annotation denotes? So at the rate cache lookup tells that we don't have to search this element each and every time, but whatever value you will find first time that value, please cache it. Okay. Or please save it temporarily. Okay. So let us try to understand that what will happen. Let's say on this X, I'm invoking some operation. Let's say click. Okay. Then X dot, let's say send keys I'm performing. Send keys and some value. Again, I'm performing some operation. Let's say clear. And these three operations I have, I have performed in one single test case, for example, and Consider the second scenario where I'm performing the same sequence of operations on Y. Y dot click. Then Y dot send keys. Okay, some value. That's it. And Y dot clear. That's it. 
pretty simple three different operations on each elements. So what will happen in this case? At the very first time, it will go on to the DOM. Okay, it will search the entire DOM for a element whose ID is one to three. And once it find, it will initialize this X with driver dot find element by dot something something. Okay. On the next call on this X, due to at the rate find by, it will again go to the DOM, search the DOM for this particular web element whose ID is one to three, and it will initialize this X. Again, when I invoke the clear method, it will go to the DOM. It will search the entire DOM for this element and then this element will be initialized. So this, this is pretty time consuming. Okay. But if you look at the second case here, what is going to happen? So on the very first time, it will go to the DOM. It will search for this element. Okay. Whose ID is seven, six, eight, and it will initialize this Y with let's say driver dot find element okay and then by dot id equal to here some id that is seven six eight okay the very first time it is searching the dom once it finds it will keep this element at as it is okay it will keep this element y as it is initialized with this value okay and when I will perform the Saint keys operation on this Y, then this initialization will be used over here. So here searching for DOM will be avoided. Why? Because our element is cached. Okay. Locally cached up. So this initialization will be used. So this is very smart idea that they have used. Not a big change actually. Okay. But very small change, but very effective. So here in this third step also, when I'll invoke y dot clear then again it will not go to the dom and it will not search the dom okay so here the searching time is drastically reduced let's say for searching we are we require 100 milliseconds over here so 200 milliseconds we are saving in this case so that is the huge change okay so this is the idea behind at the red cache lookup but let me tell you uh, you can use at the rate cache lookup if you are you initializing your page object using page factory class. Okay. If you are not using page factory class to initialize your page class. Okay. I'll tell you the example. There is a method called as init elements. Okay. And it takes two arguments. First one is the driver instance and second one is the name of class. So let me show you that how does it works. So let's say I want to use this at the rate cache lookup annotation. So I compulsorily have to initialize home page. Okay. This home page class object using the page factory class over here. So here I need to write down, let's say home page home equal to page factory. Okay, page factory dot init element, init elements. And here I need to pass the driver instance, which is in constants class for me. Okay, it is a static variable. And then home page, okay, home page dot class. That's it. This is how you need to initialize the home page class object. If you are not initializing in this way, obviously you cannot have the benefits of at the rate cache lookup. You can still write it, but it will be having no effects. Okay. That is the rule. So make sure that you are, you, if you are using at the rate cache lookup, then you should initialize that particular class page class object using page factory class. Okay. The second thing we need to remember when can we use at the rate cache lookup and when we should not use at the rate cache lookup. So in short, if your elements are static, they are not going to change at all. Okay. So consider that there are certain elements which are time bounded after some time they get refreshed. Okay. So if you traverse onto the Facebook website, there are a lot of elements who are constantly changing after some time. So for such kind of elements, you cannot use at the rate cache lookup. If you use, then obviously you will be thrown no such element exception at some point. 
not in not maybe initially but at some point you will be throwing you will be getting no such element exception but if your elements are static they are not going to change at all and if you are very sure about it about your application in that case you i'll recommend to go for the at the rate cache lookup so in that in in short you cannot use at the rate cache lookup everywhere or you cannot uh, write down web elements without at the rate cache lookup everywhere so you should understand where can i use at the rate cache lookup and where i cannot use so uh, in short where your elements are dynamic where there may be chances of having stale elements in that case do not use at the rate cache lookup so if your elements are static they are not going to change at all let's say they are not designed using ajax or something like that so in that case they are going to they are going to stay constant they are not going to change at all so in that case you it is recommended to use at the rate cache lookup so that is the at the rate cache lookup annotation which is very beneficial in the page factory so if you start writing this annotation in your test cases obviously you will get a good performance so guys please try this annotation and let me know in the comment section whether it is a beneficial for you or not if you have any question feel free to drop the message in the comment section thank you if you like the video please like it and subscribe to the channel Thank you guys.